When I come home from work, I want to eat and I want to eat fast. Whether I'm coming home from work, or whether I'm coming home from the gym, whether I want a quick lunch, this is a healthy way to eat. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say about that. All right, guys, welcome back to the Wicked Kitchen. This is a really special, crazy episode where we're gonna do real time. This is called Real Time Ramen. I've been posting a lot of pictures of ramen on Instagram and people, they go nuts for them. So I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it actually is. And I'm not ashamed that I'm using instant ramen. So we have one, two, three, I have four cameras to follow me around. We have the stove heated up at 215 degrees Celsius. That's a little over 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I have a kettle that I just boiled. All right, these are my cheats because I'm gonna do this in less than 10, 15 minutes. So that's already boiled. No trimmed vegetables. I have the packet noodles right here. And just to give it a little bit of challenge, I have the seasoning packets, but I'm not using them. We're gonna make our own seasoning just to show you how easy it is and how quick we can do this. So what I'm gonna do is get this, these on. So I'm gonna get this hot on. All right, that's going. And I'm gonna get the cast iron on. Come on, baby. Yeah, let's go. It's just a small little burn in there. I'm gonna switch those around. So I boiled the water already, you guys. The really great thing about living in England is having these kettles. They're just naturally everywhere. It, I wasn't used to them in the US, so we would boil water on the stovetop, whereas these kettles make it super easy. So the package says 550 milliliters of water. That's about half a pint, I think. I don't know exactly, but I, so I'm just gonna guesstimate it. So I'm gonna just make this for myself, not the normal two people. I tend to always make extra. So that's already boiling now that's, as you can see from the top camera above, above there, it's already starting to boil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this crank up. I need to prep these veg quick. So I get this pan going, I have a side for roasting ready. Okay. I'm just gonna set that right here for now. I'm trim these broccoli. Broccoli. Brussels sprouts. So quick cut in half. Trim the bottom, bottom in half. Save the leaves. Up, half. Up, half. So probably quite a bit, but you know what? I'm gonna probably have leftovers for tomorrow. This is how I make the rounds. All right, so trash. So that was, I don't know, six or seven of those Brussels sprouts. These broccoli, I'm just gonna leave them exactly the way they are. They're tender stem broccoli. I buy them in the store just like this. So that's it. I'm gonna use half a block of tofu. Slice, slice, slice. I am gonna, now what I'm gonna do with this tofu. I need to season it, so here's how I season it. Great way to cook tofu, you guys. This is how I do a lot of the stuff on Wicked. A little bit of oil, just to coat it, so that's gonna help with the seasoning. All right, I just wanna get this around. Black pepper, a fair amount. Because we're gonna do uh, more of a miso style, I can add a little bit more flavor to the items that I'm cooking. So you get that, I got the granulated garlic, flip them. Granulated garlic on each side. A little bit of salt. Okay, so the only other thing I want to prep up is the mushrooms. And because these are smithy mushrooms, you guys, these are not your ordinary shiitake. These are amazing shiitakes, and I want to use the stems. So I'm literally just going to cut just a little bit off of the stem, right? And leave the stem on. You see that? Just a little bit off. Can I get about six or seven of these mushrooms? Over this, over, over the stems. I find they're meaty. Sometimes they're super woody, but these ones happen to be really good. So I'm only going to cut them in half, 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 cut in half, cut in half, cut in half. Okay. So veg prepped. Pop pan, boil in water. A little bit of oil on the. A little bit of oil. 
And I'm just gonna see, see these. I am gonna switch burners. So this is gonna go here, and this is gonna go here. This burner's hotter. I don't want the heat. Mushrooms are gonna go right in where the tofu is. There's no such thing as cross-contamination when there's no animal products. It's just veg for veg, like for like. It's amazing. It's one of the best things about switching to cooking plant-based. It's really simply simple. So I am gonna use a little bit of sesame oil. Right, so we have a little sesame oil here. Maybe a teaspoon. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I'm just gonna mix these up. So this is a shiitake. Super nice. And you know what? While well, I had got my hands dirty, a little bit of the broccoli. Same thing. Sesame oil. A little bit of flavor in there. Just like coat those nice. Okay, so for now, I'm just gonna put them back here. They're seasoned. Okay, I'm gonna put the Brussels sprouts in here. Just so I can clean up my station. Wash my hands quick. Hands are washed. I'm back. Cleaning the station. Because I'm on. Picky. There's some of my like things clean and organized. And we're gonna use just I don't need any more oil because there's the oil in that pan actually. So tofu. Looking great. Look at that. Beautiful color. Perfect way to cook tofu every single time you guys. I'm gonna move this over to the side here. I'm gonna add the Russell strokes right to the pan. That's gonna good. I'm gonna put them face down to give it a nice little seal on there. Oh, did you see that one? A little runaway. So one of the things you'll notice. A lot of people saute, they're always moving the pan around, which is great, that's what saute means. Rapid motion, high heat, low fat. A lot of the technique that I use to bring the color and the crispness to these vegetables that you see that we're posting all over Instagram and all in our book is literally a little bit of oil, just a little, if any, if you're using oil, and just let that sit in that sear on that one side. That's where the flavors come in. You're searing the juices inside the vegetable, just like you used to do with animal products. And it just creates that amazing flavor. All right, so I'm gonna be popping this stuff in there really quick because I want how we're gonna plate this, you'll see how it comes together. So I'm gonna put everything on here. And you guys can see the other side is nice and seared, same as this side, all right, same as this side. Just so you see what I'm doing. One, two, three, four. Now this is going well. Okay. Looking beautiful, you guys. Brussels sprouts, amazing. If they're done right. I do not like overcooked, squishy, brown, gross it, Brussels sprouts. They have to be cooked right have a crispness, have this fresh bite to it. Keep that green. I mean, they're one of the best, most delicious vegetables out there. So just to throw in a little bit of a fun for this. Orange, Brussels sprouts. In hand, all right? I'm also gonna use 
a little bit of ginger because I have it. Quick cut, right? You can see that on the camera. Quick trim. I want to get as much flavor into every single vegetable that's going into this dish. Just a little bit. So we got a little bit of ginger here. I just like slicing in little thin strips. It's going right in the pan with the Brussels sprouts, okay? This is done. Orange. Watch. These are nice and getting crispy, perfect, exactly what I want. Orange for flavor, okay? So you get a little ginger orange glaze. That's all I need is just half of them. Brussels sprouts. Not too much longer on there. Remember this pan's heavy, always use a towel. I'm going to go right next to this. Doing all right on time. Okay, you got that. I'm going to add the shiitake. The broccoli, it's going right on the pan. I'm not touching the broccoli on the pan. Because it'll roast naturally on its own, we'll have that ready to go. Okay. So as this is going, I clean up as I go. Just putting them over by the sink. I bet you I could do one of those game shows. Yes. We'll see. I don't need this anymore. Spinach left to use, the noodles, the white beans, I'm going to add and the miso. Alright guys, think about miso, which is going to be the base. You don't boil it, because when you, once you boil it, it loses most of its nutritional value. So, I'm going to add it at the very end, we're going to mix it in, and when I add the noodles. So, for now, I want these mushrooms going. Same technique you might have seen before. I'm gonna press them. It's gonna help along the cooking. You know, try not to stand over boiling water. I kinda don't try all, all this at home. You can try it, just you don't have to race yourself like I'm doing. Okay. Ready? Wipe the bottom of the pan. If you haven't seen our video on the mushroom steak, you guys check it out and make sure you subscribe and check out all the other videos because they all blend into one. Now these are looking delicious. Look at that little char on them. I mean, freaking fantastic. I'm going to press them one more time. One more press, and then they're going in the oven. And in the meantime, I'm going to add the noodles right to the water. All of them. All the little stems. A little break off. Mushrooms are done. Smell delicious. Just going on the hot. This things are going in the oven. I'm 
I'm rinsing this out. Alright, so I'm just gonna remove so the noodles are cooked. I'm gonna remove the noodles. Alright, you can tell when they're done by tasting them or by feel. And I'm just gonna put them right here for now. And I'm gonna whisk in miso. It's a it's a really good, healthy uh, tablespoon, if not a little bit more than that. Whisk. Just whisk it in. Make sure it's all broken up nicely. Start plating it. Noodles. Side here. We're going to finish off with the spinach. Tiny bit of oil because the pan is dry from white but out. Spread out with paper towel. Mind you, the pan is super hot still. Just a little bit just to make sure it's coated on the bottom. Spinach is going in. And that's going to cook up quickly. I'm going to add, I have a can of white beans. Added protein. We have the, all the vegetables, there's protein in spinach, there's protein in tofu. I like to add beans. I always want to make sure I'm getting plenty because I'm trying to be more into the fitness part side of things and going to the gym, working out, and I want to make sure that I'm exceeding my protein limit because I want to make sure I'm gaining weight. A lot of you, if you're not gaining weight, you know, you don't have to add the extra protein. So we got the noodles in. Now I'm going to pull out the So look, you guys, perfectly cooked vegetables. This could just be a veg platter. We could do it with rice. You could do it with anything, but tonight I'm making it with the ramen. So this is going very nicely. Now I'm just gonna bowl up this. So I'm gonna add, I need, I need a ladle. Hold on. Ladle. You got the white beans in there. All right, I'm gonna put the beans on one side. A lot of them. I'm just gonna add the miso right there. So the noodles, what they're gonna do is totally soak up that. I shut the stove off, all right? This spinach is it's done. Now these are hot. Probably enough for at least two or three. But we'll make a really good size one here. One, two. We got the Brussels balls right next to the white beans. And there are the little orange and ginger that's going to have a beautiful, beautiful flavor. And one, two, three. Three broccoli stems right here. Broccoli trees. Put on the side here like this. And then some of these amazing mushrooms. Okay. 
killer in these targets. All right, so I definitely have enough for two bowls here. I might save the rest of this for tomorrow. If I don't eat the rest of this or add it with rice. So I save this. I'm going to put it to the side a little bit. And then I'm going to add the spinach. And I'll save a little bit for tomorrow too. So the spinach will go right here. Alright guys, so this is what I consider real-time ramen. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I just want to garnish it. And there you have it guys. Super easy dinner, super delicious, healthy AF. It's amazing. Don't forget to subscribe and check out all our other videos, you guys. Thank you for joining Wicked Kitchen. Real time ramen. What are you doing? I'm just waiting for hacks. Oh. Oh, <laughs> hacks, come on. Hacks, come on, man. That's for you, editor.